gosh, this and camera we're live. on this laptop is we're really bad. We're live. Okay. I know. All right. So, is that a question? Um, here, let me see that laptop. Sorry if our camera quality is a little bad. Is that on the screen? What do you mean? For some reason, we have the screen. That could just be. It's because we normally do it on the phone. Oh. There we go. Oops. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hello. Ooh, I'm going to mute this on here. There you go. You had it. You weren't on our channel. You Do were just on the camera. Okay. Yeah, this okay, camera is kind of rough because we're on a laptop right now. Okay. Hi, everyone. All the way from France. Mm -hmm. We're going to wait till a little bit of people get in and then we'll start the line. doing Stop. stuff. Why, why do you do that whenever you're Let's talking about getting bit. something going? You're close. I'm gonna do it. Gosh, this camera quality is so rough. Hello from to Brazil and Alaska and Abu, Abu Dhabi, Dhabi and Michigan Abu and Dhabi Brazil. It's beautiful. Lives. Mexico, Netherlands, it's Italy, Calgary. There's like a 20 second delay. Yes, there's normally a delay on my between like the actual like thing and then the receivers. I think it also depends on internet. I'm not sure, but I know that there's normally a little bit of a delay. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, California, India, Texas, Sweden, Utah, Canada, Connecticut, Kenya. Philippines, Germany, Washington State, South Africa, South Dakota, Virginia, Florida, Brazil. Are you just going to name off places? I'm just, there's a lot. You wake with the Netherlands, with the Netherlands, could be like, oh, my, my dad's from the Netherlands. Everyone knows my dad's from the Netherlands. France, Puerto Rico, Portland. Oh, come on over. New York. Hi, Mama. Atlas, you can stay laying down, Baba. Atlas, go lay down. You have your spot over there. You're scaring me. UK. Russia. Wow, yeah. Indonesia, Algeria, you are fine. Croatia. <laughs> yeah. Are you not the center of attention? Okay. Hong Kong. Colorado. Okay. There's about like. I wonder what time it is in Hong Kong. Oh, shit. I think they're. Six, 16 hours? No, I don't remember. Paraguay. Okay, well, there's a decent amount of you guys in here. Go lay down, Bubba. Go lay down. Who knows it's to here? That's because I'm the one who trained. I'm the one who trained took, him. Took him to the cloud. Thank right. you. Well, welcome, everybody. This is Sabi and Lauren live. Um, <laughs> What's new that we can talk about? Not much. I mean, we have a list of questions already because uh, we did the post for the Q&A. Um, so we got a couple questions from that. And then uh, we'll also answer questions through the chat. And that's kind of the bulk goal of this video. Um, someone right. asked if this is a new bucket. Eleanor, I can't rub your face on that. Just rubbing her face on the laptop. I know. It. Um, this bucket is my first bucket. It's not the trial bucket, but yeah. it's, it's my first real bucket. Come on it's up. the new bucket from like two years ago. So we haven't gotten a new bucket since the one with all the air pockets and stuff. Um, I can't reach you to pick you up. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Okay. Should we start with question number one? What is your biggest daily challenge? Um, hmm. It's a hard one. Um, managing my pain. I, I'd say that was my biggest yeah. challenge. Because every day it differs from one to ten on 
what it's gonna be and there's so many different causes for it like what food i ate constipation if i actually took all my meds there's i mean if i had a rough day like sitting up and went on a bunch of bumpy rides or whatever put my yeah. body through depends on the situation of the day but it is an everyday thing for sure yeah i'd say mine is probably wanting to do stuff for me yeah. i'm a very like stay at home relax keep to ourselves kind of person and so my biggest daily challenge is probably like having the motivation and the energy to want to leave the house or want to go do stuff and that's just kind of how atlas go lay down please please you can't scream right in the speaker dude yeah um but that's probably mine um somebody asked about general health general health my general health uh i don't know it's shaky i guess mm -hmm. i'd say because it seems like i'm either suffering from a kidney infection or i'm suffering from c diff which is caused but by I, the kidney infection due to the antibiotics yeah. i'd say your overall health is really good though like you yeah. have kidney infections which are to be expected with having a urostomy and then c diff which is to be expected with having to take antibiotics for the kidney infection and so i'd say like outside of that like your general health like all your levels are always good and like you know what i mean like your overall health is really good right um hold on i just saw oh i lost it uh, current favorite movie slash TV series at the moment? Oh, uh, that's a hard one. <laughs> we um, both go through TV series, like, in I, one I'd day. say all-time favorite is, like, One Piece, the anime. Mm, the yeah. anime TV series. I've been watching a lot of K-dramas lately, but I'm a binger, and so I can watch, because, like, they're standard, like, 16 episodes, and I can watch, like, one full k-drama like season in a day and so i can't really like it's a new one every day so at the moment i don't like have a favorite because i go through them so quickly um but that's kind of been my binge lately is k-dramas and c-dramas and there's a couple thai ones i've seen too that are really good uh, anything in any language in, in any language but English, right? Well, yeah, I'm just kind of Western like dramas and shows lately just haven't been doing it for me. Like, I don't know. And it's kind of fun because the more I watch them, the more I pick up on little words here and there that like I recognize. I'm like, that's fun. Um, and then also favorite food. Favorite food. Uh... Oh, Tavis is a uh, shepherd's pie. Her brother, shepherd's her, pie? My dad's shepherd's her, pie? Yeah, her dad's shepherd's <laughs> pie. My, my best. That's my favorite food, too. Every year for my birthday, instead of, which any of you who saw the Facebook post on for my birthday, uh, I always ask for shepherd's pie instead of, like, a cake or anything, because uh, my dad makes it with, like, a puff pastry on the outside it's just really good um it really is also someone asked if we watch uh studio ghibli we do i do especially i have um yeah. hold on hold on i got this little boy from princess mononoke and yakul and one of the wolves from princess mononoke and then i've got the mask from Princess Mononoke, that's one of my favorites. And then I have Howl and Sophie up here. And then I have Haku in his water dragon form on my arm. Uh, so, really big Studio fan. Ghibli fan. Ghibli fan in this household. I always thought it was um, Ghibli. Okay. It, it's, it's an ongoing debate between Ghibli and Ghibli. I don't actually know which one is correct. I've just always said Ghibli. 
Um, but I think it also varies on where you are and like the accent of that place, I think is a big thing for it. Hi, Annie. Um, we'll ask that um, one later. I... Oh, okay. How many new tattoos and how many more are you gonna get? I've just been filling up my arm pretty much. Uh, my dad's a tattoo artist, so pretty much just takes a highlighter to me. Yeah. And uh, we just tattoo over that. But he takes my ideas and puts them into yeah. ink form. <laughs> All the ones I just showed you, well, four of them are new for me. Um, and then I soon, so... This is kind of the last of like the tattoos I'm getting on this arm in terms of like specific pieces. And I'm gonna go in and fill in the gaps with vines and flowers that will go up to my shoulder. And then those will lead to a sternum piece that I'm getting. Uh, and currently that's my only, like the next tattoos I have planned is to finish up my arm and to get a sternum piece and then go from there. Um, so yeah, we're a very, uh, tattoo friendly household. Um, hello to the Philippines. If you guys haven't yet, make sure to like and share the video with your family and friends or share the channel with your family and friends. I would pay attention to the post-it notes. I know, sorry. I was just, pulling I'm not looking for questions. Me. I'm just reading what people are saying to us. Oh. Uh, what is your current pain level and how do you manage it? Oh, my current pain level right now, it's been a little high the past couple of days, like six to nine, I'd say. But today's like a four. And I just manage it by making sure to take all my meds, making sure to drink Miralax every day, uh, just trying to go easy on my body, try to not eat crappy foods like fast food and whatnot, try to not eat too much food in one sitting. So there's multiple things, actually. But it's pretty easy to deal with. Seems like I'm leaning it towards it. Yeah, shift me here. Keep it. Right. No, I meant like shift. Did that do it? Is that better? At the school, lay down, please. Um, my dad just handed me a post-it note saying we'll post the recipe for his shepherd's pie in the community page. So a bunch of you must have been asking for that. Uh, so he'll get that posted in the community page for you guys. If you guys have questions and stuff, just keep asking them. And I'm sure her father will pick up on him. Yeah, my dad is right here also reading chat so that if we miss any important questions. Um, and Atlas is shedding his ass. Oh, here's a good one. In contrast of who you were before the accident up to today, to today, how do you think you've both changed, if at all? I'd say we both changed a lot. I think a big bit of it was the accident, but a even bigger bit of it is the fact that we were still 18 and 20 when it happened. So we still had a lot more maturing to do. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's fair to assess ourselves. Well, like I, I, I can assess general. you and you yeah. can assess me. But, but. I wasn't assessing me though. I was saying overall. Yeah. Uh, no, I, and I was just saying, but anyway, just keep saying. I don't remember what I was going to say. So you can go ahead and assess me. Well, um, Savia uh, is a lot more cautious and reserved now, mm. I guess I'd say. And by reserved, I mean, like, she doesn't go out and do things yeah. anymore, like go hang out with friends and go run the town and not run the town, you know. I know what you're saying. I don't, I don't just... You don't, go out and, we don't live like a teenager's life yeah, anymore. Or a young adult's lives. We definitely yeah. are very much like. Yeah. It's like the accident changed us from 18 year olds to 30 year olds. 
if that makes sense. Yeah. Like that. That's how I feel, anyways. Is that like? Yeah, I'd say we definitely were a lot more like go out with friends and like go party and all of that, and now we just don't because it just. Yeah. yeah, so I'd say ever since the accident, you've become more cautious and more mm-hmm. reserved and like some things you're not willing to do anymore. Like, mm-hmm. like you don't want to go to I don't, this like, or whatever. Yeah, I don't drink. Yeah, I mean, yeah. that's not a bad thing. No, no, mm-hmm. but I definitely like, that's one thing that probably if the accident hadn't, hadn't happened, I'd probably like go out to friends to the bar. Like we'd go out to the bar with friends and stuff, right. but we don't do that. And even if like I have the opportunity to go by myself, like if your dad's here or something, like I still don't really end up drinking because it's like on the off chance that like yeah. something happens and I need to do something for you. Like I don't want to be under the influence at all. Exactly. See what yeah. I mean? She's more cautious than for you. I guess for you, the biggest change, and I, I, I can't say if this was due to the accident or just due to you maturing, but you're a lot more like emotionally mature you're a lot more in tune with your emotions and you're a lot more aware of other people's emotions like we've had this conversation before where like before like oh I don't know how to put it into words but you know what I'm saying because we've talked about it before but pretty much his emotional maturity has matured a lot and that can probably be attributed to both to being through this life-changing accident and you know having this new insight on life but also going from an 18 year old to now a 22 year old you know there's a lot of maturity that happens during the years that this has been our life and so it's really hard to know what is attributed to the accident is Sabi an introvert yes i am Yes, I am. So we both are. We both are. But you're kind of like an introvert against your will. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because if you had the ability, the opportunity, you would always be out. Yeah, but since I'm always in pain or going through Mm -hmm. something, it seems like I don't really ever invite friends over anymore. I think the last time I had a friend over was like... When did I say it was you? Yeah, which was like three months ago. Yeah. But yeah, I'm a big introvert. I have really bad social anxiety. Uh, I have my choice people that I am very comfortable around, and it makes it easier to be in social situations if they're there. Like, I have like three or four friends that if I'm with them, I will be able to at least like kind of enjoy being in a big social setting. Uh, but if I am by myself or even with just like one safe friend, like I'm breaking out in, in anxiety rash and hyperventilating in the corner, I'm not good with people. Um, they scare me. How was the house now that you, you've been there there a while? Uh, I saw that. Um, how's the house that we, now that we've been here for a while? I I like it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, you, that's more a question for Sabia because I don't need. I'm only you're places. in the bed or at your dad's. Yeah. yeah. Um. No, the house is awesome. Um. Oh, uh, it's real nice. We like it a lot. We have a big yard and our dog loves it. And currently Lauren's brother is staying with us for a little bit of time. And his dog is with us as well. And her and Atlas love each other and they love the yard. And I'd say that's probably one of my favorite things about the house is all the outdoor space we have. Um, And as for the house itself, like it still is spacious enough for us and we have a lot of little projects planned for it and yeah so the house kicks butt we love it right can lauren drink alcohol and does it affect him differently at all um i can drink alcohol legally i am old enough but i take 
prescription medications, and because of that, I do not drink alcohol. Yes, there are certain it's a very, ones. Very bad mixture. Yeah, he he technically can, but there are certain medications he's on that uh, they do that thing where they like speed up the process of alcohol or whatever. So like one drink can get you blacked out, and so there's a higher risk of alcohol poisoning and just like you know. <laughs> oh, out though. Um, and so yeah. Smashing down the question. <laughs> Do you guys ever have a real argument? We're like every other couple. Everyone has their arguments. Yeah. We there's we no do. there's no couple out there that doesn't mm -hmm. go through something. And I think the biggest thing we've learned through all of that is what matters most to us because every couple is different, but what matters most to us is that we've learned how to approach each other after an argument and how to like talk about what caused the argument and, you know, the fallout of the argument in a way that doesn't cause another argument. Cause I'd say that was one of our biggest things is we'd argue and then like, we'd both be so upset that like, one of us would try to talk to the other about it and then we, it would just worse. turn into a worse argument. Yeah. And I feel like over the years we've really learned and grown and learned how to like take that space, self-reflect a little bit and then come back and be like, okay, so this is where I think like I misunderstood what you said and this caused me to blow up and like, you know, and yeah. we've both gotten a lot better at apologizing um because again we have had to mature a lot we were 18 and 20 you know uh, communication skills have grown so but yeah we argue like any other couple uh maybe more than some maybe less than others but ooh, do you have flashbacks That's a i don't one. i don't have flashbacks no I that would do. that'd be terrible yeah, he got pretty lucky on that aspect. I have them, strangely enough. I think it's really unfair that I got all the PTSD, emotional PTSD stuff from it. Uh, I can't drive through a construction zone without getting all sweaty and <laughs> nauseous. Um, and there are certain things that really like teleport me back to Riverview. So, but I don't have like dream flashbacks or like I turn around and I'm there, but like I have, there's the smallest thing will remind me and like, I'll have like an emotional flashback or like emotionally in my brain, like it feels like we're back there. So. Um, I mean, if we're talking about it, that since I have, there's things that cause, literally, there's things that cause me to remember, like, my time at Harborview, mm -hmm. like, the ketamine train or whatever that I went through while I was in a right. drug-induced coma and all that. Like, of course, there's things that happen, mm -hmm. not daily, but... Yeah, there are things year. that will make you remember. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, but not no flashbacks. What's the next question? Thank you, CDT. Um, oh, CDT, she's, thank you for moderating. CDT's in there kicking butts with some of the shitty comments. She's always moderating. Uh, Lauren and Sabi are unusual names. Where are they from? Um, Lauren is, so I was given up for adoption at birth and my adoptive parents, Chad and Robin Showers, God bless them, great people. Uh, they uh, named me Lauren Neil Showers, and they named me Lauren after Chad's grandfather, Lauren Showers. Um, so it was a family name that was passed on. Um, and then my mom got me back after six months because she didn't sign the paperwork or whatever. And the, the Child Welfare Act. Something yeah. or whatever, and she took me back and uh, never changed your name, never changed my name. And 
that family, the reason why they uh, were adopting was because they couldn't have kids, but like literally like three or six months after I was taken away from them, they ended up having a kid and they named him Miles Lauren Showers. As a, <laughs> and um, now they have five kids or four kids. Four. They have four kids. Four. They have the twins. Yeah. Then. Yeah. But they're awesome people. They're really sweet. We uh, got into, they got into contact with Lauren after the accident happened and we've been able to connect with them and they're awesome. They visited. They, yeah. Had, yeah. They're really sweet. They also still live in Montana. So whenever they're like through town for business or whatever, you know, they'll make time to come see us and they're just really sweet people. <laughs> I visited them more since the accident than my old mother, so mm -hmm. that, that should tell you how great they are. Yeah. Um, and my name came from a book, right? My mom was reading a book series, and she picked out my name when she was pregnant with my brother because they thought he was going to be a girl, but then he was a boy, and so then they saved my name for me, I believe. Sorry, I'm looking at my dad to verify and he looks slightly scared um because he also doesn't quite remember but i'm i i do know that is from a book series my mom was reading i believe it was some type of space space type book she said something i think one of the ships was named yeah, Sylvia, or, space, I so. yeah either one of like the her one of the main characters or one of the ships or something but the my name was in there and she fell in love with it um, and so that's how I came to be. And I have since learned that uh, uh, it's there was a a tiny, tiny little town in Brazil, Montenegro. So, somewhere, somewhere had this tiny little town named Sabia, and they had an outbreak of a virus, and it. I, I literally think there were like three people. Yeah, but it was because of the tiny because town the it was in. I learned that in like fourth grade. But in like fourth grade, I found out that That's scary. Uh, there's like a Sabia virus, but there literally were like three people who got affected, no casualties. Like it, like that was it, but it like happened in this tiny town or something. I don't remember. It was in fourth grade when I learned it, so I could be totally wrong. Uh and then I've also found out that it means like wise, smart, intelligent, sweet, uh, and a couple other things in a bunch of different languages. So it, I've learned a lot about my name in my lifetime, but it did in fact come from a book. Is it just me? All the buckets said so on me, or is it just you're the camera? Just, it's the or? camera because when I look okay. at you, like you're kind of leaned also, like if you go like this and then lean back, see now you're straight. So you were just lean, but also this, the cushion you're on is the main one that's like used. And so it's very like broken in. Are you guys planning on doing a future meet and greet? Let me tell them. Can I answer oh. this? That was just me going through pain. So I, we're thinking about doing one but there's a lot of things we have to do beforehand. So yes, eventually we I mean, want Greek to do. is a lot of work. Yes. To get. Um, we we got to get to posting videos regularly first before we can get enough of you guys to get to together yes. to do a meet and greet. Um, and more than that, oh, wow. but then I'll spoil a bunch of stuff. So thank you. Oh, thank you, Matt. Metster Ann. Metster Ann. Um, Lay down, buddy. I know. You kind of, do you, you want to go outside? He knows I'm in pain. I'm going to put him outside for a little bit because he's being loud. He's been. You want to go outside? You want to go outside? Come on. Oh, yeah, you can go outside. Next question. <sighs> what causes your pain? Um, Like I said earlier, uh, pretty much if. It, it, a lot of different things could cause my pain or not or add to it or whatever depends on the meal how much i've eaten um if i've drinking my miralax which uh helps with 
Um, it, it's a stool softener. Um, I have to make sure to drink my relax. I have to make sure to not eat too much food or too crappy of food. And I also have to make sure to take all of my medications on time or else uh, my pain won't be all that great and I have to be easy on my body or else my pain won't be great. Thank you, Alpha. Right? Alpha for two dollars. Thank you, Alpha. If you guys haven't yet, make sure to let, like and subscribe. Uh, sorry, I also couldn't read. Uh, do you like interacting one on one more or from a distance to an audience? Like, do you like like one on one conversations or like you speaking to a big group as a whole? I've never spoken to a big group as a whole other than online. Oh, this is. Oh, wow. Thank you, Pamela. Yeah, thank you. Um, wow. This is amazing to a larger audience. You are amazing. Um, I don't know because for me it depends because one-on-one yeah. -on -one, uh always even like if it's you know random people we meet or like one-on-one -on -one i feel like is a little bit more personal because we already try to keep it pretty mm -hmm. personal with an audience and one-on-one -on -one is i feel like there are certain things we get to get a bit more personal about like once we get to know that person's like where they sit with a lot of things. And so one-on-one -on -one I prefer for like those more like kind of deeper, you know, conversations, conversations. and an audience yeah. I prefer for like the like baseline personal stuff and like being able to like educate or inform a whole group at a time. So it, it really, Depends on the situation and the conversation, I'd say. Next question. Seven. Next question. What do you love about Montana? What are your favorite attractions? Um, um what do I love about Montana? No sales tax. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that is real nice. We favorite attractions. Um, Glacier National Park is pretty beautiful. I'd go back. Um, what do we have? <laughs> yeah, my the, favorite part. I haven't of, been to Flathead Lake, so I couldn't tell Flathead you. Flathead Lake is beautiful. I have been to Flathead Lake, and it's phenomenal. It's crystal clear. So, um, well, I yeah. I, well, I'm trying so to you'd think. Say Flathead Lake. I wouldn't say it's like my favorite, but I do like Flathead Lake. Um, I, I wouldn't, you know, really in terms have. of favorite attractions, I probably would just put Glacier because that's our, like, most, one of our most popular attractions. But, like, I guess I can't really choose any one spot because, like, for me, I really like the mountains. I like going hiking. And so it's really, and well. Sure. You like the mountains, you like going hiking, so it's really. It's really, that is my favorite attraction is being able to go hiking. So it's not any one specific place. It's the activity itself. All the attractions in Montana are nature based. So, oh, wow. Uh, oh, thank, thank you, you Annie. Annie for Goodness. The wow. I forgot that That's they crazy. can do that online. <laughs> that they can donate. Yeah. That, yeah, it's crazy. Oh, that's Annie's first super on a live stream. Thank you, Annie. Next question, David. Um, the we will not be speaking about politics or religion. Um, we made that known. So the person spamming about politics. Do you enjoy swimming? And do you swim? I enjoy being in the water. I can't really swim um, due to the one arm thing. Mm -hmm. uh, but we are going to figure out a way for me to float better. Yeah. And for me to like a way for this one. We're going to give you some arm floaties next time. And yeah. And I do think all that. to try something with like one of those, like a, like a kind of like an oar attachment. Yeah. Like, like a, a fin. Yeah. 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 
Um, we forgot about that. My yeah. sister suggested that we put a fin on my right arm. And... Yeah. Um, I, I like being in the water. I'm not really like a swimmer per se. Um, but like, I like a leisure hangout in the pool. Um, I was the fastest swimmer in my class before my accident. So. Nice. Oh, and I could do, geez, finally. And I could do a backflip and a front flip. <laughs> that is a good name. Prayers and blessings have been following you too. And I'm so reminded of how life throws big giant rocks, but with courage, strength. So that life will be filled with amazing pebbles. Thank you so much. You good, baby? Yeah, I'm just my pain. Have either of you been to the UK? No. Like I said, my pain's been bad for a couple of days. Yeah. I miss we we both forgot my Miralax for like four days. It's and so, you were, yeah. It's because I was uh, sick from something else and yeah. So uh, yeah, that has not been a good two weeks. Um, neither of us have ever been to the UK. Uh, the only place out of the country I've been is to the Netherlands. And I was in second grade, so I only remember little bits of it. I've never been out. Um, the US. And Lauren's never been out the country, so. I've I've been close enough to the uh, Canadian border that I went to a school called Thank you, Turner. Tina. That's here in Montana, I think it's in Montana. I don't Turner's know. Yeah. I don't know, but uh, they taught French and English. But they taught French and English, and like the morning, and like instead of doing the Pledge of Allegiance every morning, you would do French words every morning. Mm. Oh yeah, that mm. little school on the border. Yeah. And so I don't know. Well, I was too young to remember any of the French. All I remember is laces, which is eyes. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't know why, but. Any advice for new couples? <laughs> no. Go that way. <laughs> Everyone is different. Don't, don't, Every... don't follow any of our advice. <laughs> um, no, I I wouldn't I, I don't think we'd ever really give any advice because every couple is different, every person is different, and everyone has been through something different in their life, so everyone approaches things differently. So I guess the biggest thing is just to understand the person you're with. Do you know that your dad has such a soothing voice? Thank you. I still remember, uh, what was it? Which, yeah, I posted a TikTok of my dad a couple years ago. Oh. And people were thirsting for him in the comments. Didn't and your mom get a little jealous? Not like actually, she well, jokingly yeah, but, got jealous. Yeah. But yeah, uh... So <laughs> that's um. We'll leave it at that. What about that bionic arm? Um, we're working on it. We yeah. were, we didn't realize it, but we were logged out of <laughs> our business email for like six months, six, nine months, I think maybe it was like a eight year. Months. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but we completely missed some emails and. Some meetings. I a meeting. Um, it's not touch screen. That's all you did. <laughs> um, we missed some emails from them and a meeting. Um, but once we got back in, we got a hold of them and like it's still just they're still just working on it. Um, we're we're hoping to visit sometime this year, uh, to get a tour of headquarters and stuff. Uh. Oh, the book that my name came from is called the Keltiad book series by Patricia Kennelly Morrison. Jim's Morrison's wife. Uh, Sabia was a character in the book. So my mom typed that in chat for us. Well, thank um, thank you, 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 Annie. Thank you again. Uh, but yeah, so it's still like in motion. Uh, but I think the biggest thing to remember is when Tyler, uh, the CEO, when he first reached out to us, like they were still in the beginning stages, really. And these things take years uh, to get 
to the public and to the market and they have to go through all of this beta testing and all of this and so uh, we knew going in that it would be a while a couple years at the least before Lauren would actually be able to get one um, so we will update you guys when we actually have updates to give about that uh, but yeah is there a way to make Lauren more comfortable not really <laughs> I mean, we could we, we could open up my guts and we could uh, deaden all my nerves like they should have yeah. done before, but they didn't That's get around to that before they patched me back up yeah. and they weren't willing to do it when afterwards and yeah. when they opened me back up to uh, put the ileostomy in. Um, I asked about it, if they could deaden my nerves or do a nerve block or something, anything for my nerves. and. Har Harborview was not willing to do anything. Well, with Harborview, oh, thank you, Shirley. Your live show. Would and be I actually had to go to the Seattle Children's Hospital to get the ileostomy done. Yes, and so Harborview was originally going to do the thing with your nerves, but then you were put on hospice DNR. Yes. Um, but no surgeon. We haven't been able to find a surgeon anywhere that has been willing to open more and back up because of the intensity of the surgery itself. Yeah, I mean, you could die each time. Yeah. Um, are you guys going to write a book? <coughs> Eventually, that is the goal and the hope. Sabi has been writing a book since high school. Well, yeah, but they mean a book No, I, I, know. I, was making, <laughs> I was making a joke. Um, don't remind me of my failure in the works. Um, I don't know. Maybe I, I might be, be too lazy and just like tell somebody my story and do well, it. Well, I think it would be interesting if we wrote one together because then, like, I could write for both of us as long as you recount your bits. Like, if you speak it to me, I can write it. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I got you. But it's something we. have flirted with the idea yeah, but, but it, not necessarily like a yes for sure if i thing. if we were to do something like that though i would like to sort out like the memories and mm -hmm. what not mm -hmm. in the correct timeline oh absolutely that's well it goes into any book I, i'm just saying oh. huh? thank you louise oh thank you louise i wasn't looking at the screen so Next so question. great to see Sabi and Lauren. You both look great. I Thank you. Can you go camping? Uh, we actually have been planning to go camping with my sister and her husband and my nephews. So, yeah, I can go camping. Mm -hmm. All I need is just my medications. Um... Sorry, I wonder if a nerve stimulator would help. They are not always successful. So actually, when we went to Seattle to get a urostomy, we had, uh, what's the word? Like a meeting about a nerve stimulator. Um, but so the only ones you can really get without surgery are like the TENS units. And those don't do any enough, like anything for Lauren. So the only other option would be surgically implanted ones. But again, no surgeon was willing to open Lauren up to try it because there was no guarantee it would work. So we have explored that option, but because we wouldn't know if it would work until we did it, no surgeon wanted to go through the risk of that surgery on the off chance it didn't work. Yeah, in the future. Hopefully, they'll come up with something like a. Uh, what's Lauren's favorite thing about Sabia? LOL. Um, it, LOL is literally written on there. I say that. Um, what's my favorite thing about Sabia? Uh, just natural beauty. Just who she is as a person. I don't know. When I first met Sabia, I thought she was the kindest, most down to earth person that I knew. Like I, I thought she was like too good to even cuss. Like, which wasn't. What, true. Yeah, I, I, I honestly thought that because of our relationship and how I am, she started to cuss. That's how good, or that's how high up. Like that's how you viewed me. 
yeah, how high on a pedestal I viewed you and still view you. Just crashing down that no, pedestal. <laughs> no. It's hard to explain. I can't understand. You're just natural innocence. And how nice you are to people, naturally. You know, just, just how you're a good person through and through. I mean, you wouldn't have all the friends that come through this house all day, every day. <laughs> Helping out. Helping out if you weren't a good person. They're not my friends that come through, they're your friends that come through. Yeah, but they come through the... Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Um, obviously, follow-up question is, what's my favorite thing about Lauren? Hmm. Um, yeah, it's obvious. <laughs> you already know. So, for me, Lauren has never ceased or failed or given me any reason to feel like he doesn't love me. And I don't know if this is like a selfish reason as to, uh, thank you, Shargamal. Sure. Uh, I don't know if this is like a selfish reason for it like being my favorite thing about Lauren, but as someone who's like always struggled with like body images and positive like self perception, Lauren's never made me feel like he thinks that I'm not beautiful and Lauren's never made me feel like he thinks that I'm not a good person and he's never made me feel like I'm not appreciated and so like our entire relationship and even prior to that Lauren's always made me feel um like he sees me as the opposite of all the negative things I see about myself if that makes sense um because I have very, very low self-esteem and perception of myself. And I've never seen that through Lauren's eyes. I've only ever seen him looking at me like I'm beautiful and him looking at me like he loves me and him looking at me like I'm a, this amazing person for him. And, uh, and as someone who feels the way I do about myself, that's very rare to be able to see that in someone else and your brain not twist it into, oh, like they're lying. Like that's not how they actually see you. And he's just so honest and upfront and sincere with how he sees me and how he perceives me that like, that yeah, that's my favorite thing about him. I, I don't know if that's like a selfish thing because it makes me feel good, but it just goes to show how much you love me and yeah, I feel like that's just hard to find someone that sincere with their love. Thank, thank, thank you, you the, Annie. Thank you for the donation, Annie. What's the next question? Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Should you rip the question? Uh, have you tried hypnosis for the pain? Um, I have mm -hmm. not. Uh, but my God, what is she doing? My cousin, uh, she is. Uh, a hypnotherapist, an acupuncturist, and uh, uh, what's I, another thing too? I don't know, but she actually became a hypnotherapist when my ac me. when my accident happened, so she could try and use it to help my pain. Uh, just haven't gotten around to doing a session with her yet, but uh, it's actually in the works to doing a session. I. I actually just talked to her not too long ago. We're doing a um, a session here after Easter, so nice. we'll see if hypnosis works or not. But or hypnosis therapy or hypnotherapy. I don't know if that's the th same thing, but sorry, she's so comfy right now. Um, it's next man. Lauren, will you grow a beard and mustache again? Uh, I, I don't know. I depends. I guess if I get a haircut or not for six months or a year. Uh, what does Lauren do for pain that is not medication? Um, grab on tightly to things. Uh flex every muscle in my body to try and 
get the cramp to go away. Uh, we try heat therapy sometimes, like the heating pad. We try that. Uh, baths sometimes help a lot. Baths. It, it'd be nice if we, I could free float in water every so often. That would We're be really nice. We're hoping get a hot tub. Um, and of course, I, I smoke marijuana. That helps with my pain. Um, I feel like that's considered a medication. Oh my gosh, sorry, I have to let that dog in. He's pouting in the snow. Did you see him? Yeah, <laughs> but when he was inside, he was pouting on the couch. Down and you're gonna be nice and quiet for us, okay? Come here. Come on. Good boy. Lay down. Good boy. You stay. Good boy. Did you guys like Seattle as a city? Yes. Um sorry, I'm I love Seattle. <laughs> um I had a really good time there. Oh uh, when I I kind of liked my time in Chicago better, though. I, I don't know if it's because of where we were in Chicago compared to where we were in Seattle or what. But I don't know. I, 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 I don't know. I like Chicago. I like Seattle a lot because in Chicago, we were within the same four blocks the entire time we were there. But so we didn't really get... Nice about it. Yes, but we didn't really get to see Chicago, whereas Seattle, we were all over this city all the time. Yeah. And in Seattle, I was actually able to drive places, and it just felt like there was a lot more for us to do and more places for us to go in Seattle. Because in Chicago, again, we were in the same four blocks the entire three months we were there, whereas Seattle, like, we went a lot of places. And I really liked Seattle. I've always felt um that it's Lauren and I Atlas Bubba please. Alright. You're gonna go back out in the cold here in a minute. I've you always know, felt that if Lauren and I didn't like if we were to move out of Montana, I would want to move to the Seattle area. Like more like like uh was it Kingston that we went to? Like more like the outside of Seattle, but like still like a ferry uh, right away. Where the one place was the where you pocket the, or what? the little No, that's place. not what I'm talking about. Um but yeah, so I really liked Seattle a like lot. Bunko Bumps, that's what Please go lay down, Bubba. You're really like down. being a menace. Stop stepping on that. Hold on, I'm gonna see if Jaron bring him into the room with Cora because he just wants attention and he just wants to play. Oh yeah, it's because we're giving both of our attention to something other than him. He doesn't like it. Uh, say hi to Kazakhstan. Hello, Kazakhstan. Uh, does the cold or heat influence your pain? Um, yeah, I feel like, uh, when I'm super hot, I feel like my pain acts up more, uh, which is weird because sometimes, like, a heating pad can help my pain, too, but, uh, mostly the cold helps. Yeah, I'd say mostly the cold helps with my pain. But, and the heat makes it worse come to life. Have you reduced meds since accident? I have reduced my meds since the accident dramatically. Actually, I'd say I'm on like a third of the meds that I was on. Haven't you been? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like a third, maybe even a fourth. Yeah, before you were... Most of your meds are like supplements at this point. Like you have the cranberry supplements and the D-Mano supplements. Like you only have three pain meds that are prescribed and then the two laxatives. 
and then the other ones are just supplements. So, and when you first were on meds, you were on like 20 meds. And now, like in terms of like yeah. things that you can't really necessarily get over the counter, like you're on like four things. How are you adjusting to this bucket versus your trial bucket? My trial bucket was easier. Um, I could put my trial bucket on myself, get up, do, do things throughout the day myself. Uh, this bucket takes a lot more work. I can't do it myself. I need Sabi's help to do it. Um, it's really hit or miss if I'm going to be sitting upright or not in it because it, there's three different areas that you have to air up and you have to make sure everything lines up perfectly. And I have to make sure my not only my colostomy, but also my ileostomy lines up in the holes perfectly and my sock isn't getting sucked down and pulling down, exposing my skin to the bucket. There's a lot to it. So uh, I'd say I, pre I prefer the old bucket compared to this new bucket, just because it was easier and whatnot. This one is more comfortable and whatnot, way it's harder to put on. It's better for my body. Um, and it looks better too, uh -huh. but uh, how is the weather? I, I and, didn't. I, oh, sorry, I, I, I couldn't fit my old bucket anymore, I'm so my bad. that's why we finally got my. Uh, well, actually, how it took how long? It took a while to get this bucket, but that's because uh, we had to do it like long distance. Yeah, they had to send it about a full year, I'd yeah, say. Yeah, but it took like three or four times of sending it back and forth mm -hmm. and working with uh, a guy in St. Louis and a person here in Montana to get it to fit right and whatnot. So mm -hmm. hopefully I don't grow out of it like my child bucket. Yeah, but that's the nice thing about this one having air pockets. And if you grow out of this of one, that growth, means yeah. that you're not really healthy anymore because right now you're at like a perfect healthy, like. Yeah. Well, BMI. Well, and if I be, well, not if I become too big, if it is the, yeah, I, I've got a problem. Then it means that you know you'll have some other health problems. So, <laughs> um, is it hard for Lauren to get comfortable? Um, on this unbalanced couch right now, it is. I keep feeling like I'm about to tip into her, and I'm like I am tipping into her. So, uh, right now it's hard for me to get comfortable, but most times, no, it's. Actually, yeah, rather bed, easy. it's pretty for easy for you to get comfy too. Oh, bed, it's easy, super easy for me to get comfy. Um, setting up, I'm mostly set up in my wheelchair, and that mm -hmm. comes with a fixed position. Yeah. So, comfy in that. Yeah. yeah. Are you gonna do more lives? I and I saw a couple of these in here as well, asking why we don't do lives often. Um. The goal is to do lives more often and be on more lives. But as we said in our most recent video, um, as of right now, we're sticking to the first Sunday of every month will either be a video or a live um, until we can get into a rhythm. And we don't want to promise you guys anything. We don't want to say, oh, yeah, we're going to do more lives and then not do more lives because we can't guarantee it at this point. Uh, just because, you know, our lives, our lives, how we live, not our lives, <laughs> um, <laughs> are, you know, it's very by the day on if we're going to be able to do something we had planned. And so one thing we've learned from the past with you guys, like, is we're not going to say we're going to do anything or guarantee anything because a lot of the times we end up having to back out of that for whatever reasons and then we just get your hopes up and then they come crashing down so we are hoping to do more lives but there is no guarantee on how often or when i saw someone ask about merch um merch isn't happening until uh we get some other things up and running am i announcing what no am i talking no. about we're not talking about that until it's Okay. You just have big plans and merch. We have is part big of it. plans and merch is part of it. So 
That's yeah. something to look forward to. You guys will be there for it. You'll see. <laughs> Were you born in Montana? We were both born in Montana. I was born in Haver, Montana. Yep. Grew up in Great Falls, Montana. I was born in my childhood home on the floor. Pretty much. Yeah. I was a home birth. Hippies. I was a home birth, and my older brother was a home birth. My eldest brother was the only one they had in the hospital. Um, Lucky him. Uh, okay. But yeah, no, I was. Uh, my mom's a warrior uh, because not spit only out right on the floor, huh? not only was I a home birth, but I was about ten pounds ish. Almost yeah, You're like ten baby. pounds eight ounces. And dropping bowling ball. Um, and my mama had me at home. Um, she did obviously like have a midwife doula, all the works. Like she, she planned for a home birth. Um, but yeah, uh, ten pounds eight ounces. Um, but yeah, we were both born in Montana and I've lived in Great Falls, Montana since I was born. Um, I technically lived in Missoula for like a year when I went to college the first time. Uh, but I don't really count that, uh, cause I was home so much. So is that creepy Facebook impersonating you still up? The OG one's been taken down, but there's a new one up again, uh, but they aren't getting nearly as much traffic as the old one got. Uh, and I've kind of learned based off of my research that there's nothing really we can do about it. And even some of the biggest celebrities have fake Facebooks with like millions of followers that are impersonating them. And there's really just nothing to do about it. So yeah. as... As far as I'm concerned, is we'll just make sure to link our real Facebook and our YouTube, and if you well, know. Somebody asked if we had Venmo too. Oh yeah. We, should probably um, put that in the, we can put that in the community page if people want yeah. it, but. I was just saying, since you're talking about putting yeah. stuff in the. Savia, no offense intended. Do you feel nervous in front of the camera? Yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Lauren, any contact with your dad? Uh, yeah. Um, he's he's been going through a surgery due to a dog attack that mm -hmm. he went through a couple months back. Um, so he's been healing up from surgery and yeah. can't lift more than five pounds right now. But, um, but as soon as he's healed up, he'll be back to being my caregiver uh, four yeah. days a week from nine to nine. Yeah. And usually I, yeah. I'm at his shop. About four days a week. Yeah, if any of so. you missed our last two videos, uh, four days a week, Lauren's dad is actually his caregiver instead of me. Uh, and Sabia has gone back to work. Yeah. She's gone back to waitressing at the Mongolian Grill where she waitressed before the accident. Yep. There, uh, I worked there in high school and then I worked there um after i dropped out of college the first time and they're really awesome people my bosses they're very family oriented it's a family run restaurant um and they're they're super awesome and they've always treated me very well and uh, i've always felt like part of the family with them and so when i had four days off for the first time in four years because one was with his dad i had no idea what to do with myself I got really bored, and so then I went to the grill one day for lunch, and uh, the one of the waitresses there that I actually like trained back when I worked there was saying how she's running a couple full days by herself and stuff, and so I was like, oh, well, I have four days to myself, so if you guys ever need like any help, like give me a call, and then within like a week, they called me up, and now I work Wednesdays and Thursdays, and I work the evenings and then I work Saturday mornings. So I still get like all of Friday to myself when Lauren's with his dad and then Wednesday and Thursday mornings and Saturday evenings. So it's been nice and it's nice to be doing something for myself that's just my own, that's separate of Lauren and separate of YouTube and separate of like this like joint identity we have. So, um, 
Do you still receive fan mail, etc.? We have not checked our box in months, so we need to check yes. our box. Um, in case you guys didn't know, though, we have a P.O. box that's do. in the description of every video. Yes. Um, but, yeah, our fan mail got, you know, we'd get, like, a letter or two every couple of months. So I only really check it, like, twice a year now. Um because most of the time when I go check it, there's like eight letters or something. And so it's nice to like go through them like that. Uh, but we do still have a P.O. box and we still do receive stuff sometimes. So not often, but. How do you guys feel on having a huge fan base since the accident? How do we? Well, sorry, I wasn't paying attention to that one. I was going to say something. Uh -huh. else. Uh, they said, how do you guys feel uh, on having a huge fan base since the accident? Oh, I, I feel good about it. I, I think it's great. I, oh, I hope that we can do something with it. And I hope that uh, you guys don't get bored with this. Like, it isn't just a fad or something and that we're able to do something with this that is able to help others and ultimately yeah. help others in the community and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. It makes me a little nervous sometimes uh, just uh, because I have anxiety. Uh, so knowing that many people know I exist and perceive me as a person um, sometimes causes me to panic a little bit, but uh, obviously all of the good that comes out of it, like all of the support and the community and the, um, support. what's the word? Yeah, support. all of that that's come out of it, obviously, is such a pro. And since we started so small and like, because we have like, for example, like Facebook and stuff, there's actually a lot of supporters that we actually know very well now. Um, and I feel like on the internet, parasocial relationships are really uh, a really big kind of like problem in a sense, you know. Um, but it's nice that there's certain ways that we have found to where like we are able to actually have some type of relationship with the people who support us. And I, I think that helps, like for me, that helps with the anxiety aspect of it. Like, oh my gosh, there's all these people that know who I am because there's a decent chunk of people that I know now too, you know, that like I've had conversations with or like, you know, I've chatted with and that's the same thing, but that, I hope that makes sense. Sometimes I'm not really good at explaining things. Um, do customers recognize you from YouTube at work when you waitress? I've had a couple recognize me. I, I've had, I think two, two total recognize me. Um, I had one. I knew you had one couple. That right? No. Yeah, I had one, like my first week back, I had, uh, it was a younger girl. Um, I think she was in like her 20s, maybe. Uh, but she, uh, recognized me, um, and asked if I, she first asked if I was Lauren's wife. And so then I thought maybe she was someone you went to school with. I was like, oh yeah. And then she's like, oh yeah, I've seen your guys' YouTube. And so I don't know if she recognized me like uh, because she knew you from the past and then just happened to have seen our YouTube or if she recognized me from YouTube. And then I had another like older uh, lady that did for sure recognize me from YouTube because uh, when I waited on her, she, asked me if I was the girl from from that YouTube channel with the disabled guy <laughs> were her words so Remember when we were out in public that one time and it was those two girls who looked like me like looked like they were from the uh, movie mean girls that were approaching us and we thought that they were gonna start like you thought that they're gonna start tearing you down about how you were dressed or whatever but they came up to us and were like are you guys on YouTube was that in Seattle? Yeah. I do remember that. But that's because <laughs> they 
did not have very nice faces when they were, they were like walking off. And <laughs> I was you, like, Sami was wearing sweats that day out in public as we were just going to run out, grab lunch, and go back to our hotel room. And these two girls approached us looking with, well, they had resting R RBF, RBF face. And so. And as someone who has RBF, like, <laughs> I'm aware I have RBF. So if I'm approaching someone, I like make it a point to. Yeah. And, and they just walked up to us like. And so I was like, okay, are these girls going to be mean to me? And they weren't, but what was I supposed to know? I've been thinking, uh, I've been wanting to get a sign made, though, that I can somehow take off and put on all of my wheelchairs, or maybe just make one for each wheelchair, uh, a sign that says on, like, YouTube, Sabi and Lauren, or whatever. Because every time we're out in public or whatever, People always stare and look like they want to ask questions. And so I feel like I just put a sign on the back of my chair. It'll make it a lot easier for people to uh, find the answers to mm, their mm. questions and also gain followers. Sorry, I was reading comments. You should uh, read questions. Well, <laughs> how did. Oh, thank you, Katharina. Love you guys, she says. Thank you, Kat. The first super on the live stream. Um, how did you name your animals? How did you get their names? So, Elbel, her name is Eleanor. Um, I actually didn't name her. Well, I, okay, it's kind of complicated. So I had a roommate. We weren't supposed to have cats. She brought home this little kitten. Um, and she named her Elle. And night one, she was annoyed because Elle was a baby and wanted love. And so she kicked Elle out of her room and Elle started sleeping with me. Uh, fast forward a couple months, uh, suddenly I'm the one buying all of Elle's food. Ace, I think. Suddenly I'm the one buying all of Elle's food, changing her litter box. Oh, she thank sleeps you, Annie. with. Thank you, Annie. She sleeps with me every night. My roommate and I get into a disagreement about existing together um, and a whole bunch of other things. Then I she come was to the like, picture and she moves out. Um, no. um, a whole bunch of other things. She was like throwing parties when I wasn't home. And then when the landlord like was like, hey, I told you no party. She's like, oh, that's not yet. I was like, I was in California. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, so she ended up getting kicked out and she tried to take the cat with her and I went, Hey, homie, um, I take care of that cat and that cat sleeps with me and I have a bond with that cat and you almost never even look at that cat. Um, and then she told me if I paid her, she'd let me keep the cat. So I paid her because she didn't take care of the cat and no, you couldn't afford to pay her. I still paid her though, because yeah, I, I know. yeah. Um, I'm just saying that's how much you love. And so oh. at that time, her name was L. Uh, but as time went on, she turned into Eleanor slightly because, like, uh, it kind of felt like I was officially getting her as my cat. And so, like, I wanted to, like, name her in a sense, but I wanted to keep her name. So she became Eleanor. Uh, and I don't know. It just felt fitting for her. And, yeah. And then Laura named Ace. I named How Ace because Ace? I've always just uh my gamer tag oh yeah on uh my gaming platform for the not always but for most since i was like 15 has always been i ace lowercase i capital a c e i don't know why it just looks cool on a gamer tag and sounds cool and all that and so when we got ace and he's black and white. Like the Ace of Spades. Yeah. That was it. You said it reminded, he reminded you of the Ace of Spades. Yeah. And yeah. so I decided to call him Ace. Yep. Yeah. And then Atlas came named because we got Atlas when he was two. Um, and he Atlas was already was named. The next. We got a dead body that you're forgetting. Bligo? Yeah. But I figured not, they were asking about our current animals. Oh, talking about Norbert? Oh, well, Norbert. Not Norbert. Who are you talking about? Your lizard. Norbert? Crimson? 
But yeah, crimson. Oh God, I got sorry. That's why I was confused because I got crimson before you and I started dating. Oh my bad. Yeah, crimson was crimson was my leopard gecko, um, and I I don't know. I got him from PetSmart and held him and went crimson, uh, which is pretty much the same with Norbert, my bearded dragon. I went to the pet shop and knew I wanted to get a bearded dragon and um, Norbert. Yeah, and I picked one out, and just, Norbert, like, I don't know, there was no rhyme or reason behind her name. Uh, she just looked like a Norbert. Um, I also thought she was a he, uh, but when we found out she was a girl a couple months later. Uh, she said, we'll call her Norbert. Uh, no, I just said, we'll keep her Norbert. Or I thought her Fiona, or Fiona said that. Yeah, I think Shady or Fiona was like, oh, you can call her Norbert. And I was like, no, she's Norbert. Um, but yeah, so in terms of like my names for animals, they're really out there and they just kind of come to me in the moment. I see the animal and I go, that's your name. Uh, I don't really have any rhyme or reason to it, but they always end up fitting them. If, if you guys uh, aren't able to stay through the live till the end, you guys could always watch it back later. Yes, you don't you have to missed. be worried about missing anything because these stay in our channel after the fact. So but make sure to drop a thumbs up and share with your friends though. Favorite thing to do together? Um. So I know mine, so I'm just waiting for Lauren's. Uh, I don't. I I like our like when we have late night talks together. That's mine too. When we both just like I don't know when we're. But it's like two, three in the morning. But we're not yeah. both can't sleep. We're both have. Because are full of energy our, and yeah. we just talk about things and that are in our life and I'm just our have sleep. really down to ground, grounded down to earth moments. And our uh, sleep schedules are very different. So a lot of times like I'll stay up till like three or four a.m. and Lauren wakes up around three or four a.m. So a lot of times when I'm coming to bed. Lauren's just waking up and there's like a nice hour or two in between me falling asleep where we just lay in bed and we talk and or like we'll watch something together or we'll just like giggle together. I don't know. Um, but those feel like the most like. Oh, I don't know the word for it. Like. Just. What is the word? No. Um. Everything else feels like we have to put effort in, like, going out and doing this and doing that. Like, there's all these steps we have to take to do it, you know? Like, we have to get supplies, and we have to get Lauren up, and we have to pack the truck, and we have to go there, and we have to do this. And and a lot of things that are planned feel, you know, sometimes they're harder to enjoy because, like, for me, like, as a caregiver, like, I'm constantly like, okay, like... Are the bags okay? Did we bring supplies? Like, what if his pain gets bad? Do, am I able to get him out in the truck if I need to? And, like, and I'm still able to enjoy the moments, but, like, there's a lot more that goes into it. Whereas when we're just laying in bed talking, like, it's effortless. Thank God. It's the most effortless, like, one-on-one -on -one time that we get together. And so if that's why it's my favorite thing to do together is because there's no thought or trying that goes into it. Like, there's nothing to be planned. We're just laying in bed, talking to each other, looking at each other, just relaxed. So effortless. Yeah, that's the word I was looking for. Um, Atlas is not happy. Yeah, Atlas is really upset that we put him in you another room. Him it's too cold. It is seven or eight degrees outside. He can only be outside for like 20 minutes at a time. Gotcha. Sabia does look kind of Dutch. It's the nose, isn't it? Next question. What days do you plan on vlogging? Wouldn't mind a reminder on the... Um, so we will be releasing our vlogs the first Sunday of every month. And if we are not able to release a vlog, like if we had nothing to film, then we'll do a live. But every, the first Sunday of every month is a guaranteed, we will be on your screen. Um, 
I hope that helps. And we hope to get enough content to uh, ramp up production in the future. But right now we're sticking with just the first Sunday. Yeah, the goal is to post more than that. But as of right now, the only like actual schedule we will give is the first Sunday of every month. Because even if we aren't able to get a video out for whatever reason, we can always go live on that Sunday. And we won't make any more guarantees other than that. (laughs) Because then we'll just end up breaking promises. Um, how are you two getting along? Great. I think think we're getting along. We've been fine, yeah. I feel like we've been bickering a little bit lately, but I think that's also to attribute to the fact that since Lauren's dad has been having surgeries, he hasn't been leaving for four days a week. And I've also, like, his dad will come here for the hours that I go work at the grill, uh, but, like, we aren't getting those full days apart. So, like, we're back to spending, like, almost every minute with each other, which is fine and dandy. But, like, you know, we have been bickering a little bit more because, like, for me, like, I will say I've been a bit more, like, me to everyone because I haven't had that, like, to myself break. Uh, and, yeah, ready for spring. I'm sick of the snow. It keeps snowing and then melting, and then we get, like, one day of, like, wow, it's, like, 50 degrees. It's so nice. There's no snow. And then the next day it snows, like, three inches again. So do your parents live with you? No. Uh, My parents have their own home. Um, Not here. Uh, They live about 20 miles west west of great balls uh lauren you play any video games oh you're done no oh me am i done yes lauren you play any video games ever think of streaming would love to watch you um i haven't played video games in like a year uh because my every time i go to play my computer seems to have (laughs) a problem with something with an update with uh, drivers with the graphics card whatever yeah. uh so then, the whole past year i haven't gotten to play it and now my brother he's staying here and he's living in my uh game room so uh i don't have a game room anymore why right? what we'd like to do though is um get a setup to where uh you can't we can't do what you what what you'll find on amazon because I'm sure you'll get, you guys will look it up after we tell you what yeah, we're looking we've for. We've looked for it already. We have to get it made. Yeah, but we want a table that is like those tables that go over the bed, except for it to be able to hold a computer, two monitors, a keyboard, and the whole nine yards, but also be able to, to move the table, sway it, move it back in, everything like that. And so. That we have to get made, and that would be nice just so I could play in bed and more often, yeah, and even stream. stream a lot more. Because one yeah. of the biggest things on why you aren't streaming too is because I can't play my game. <laughs> no, is because a lot of times when you end up wanting to play games, your pain is too bad, so you can't get up anyway. Yeah. And if we can get the setup where it can be in bed or in your stream room, then you can stream from bed. And you'll be able to stream a lot more. But he does have a Twitch and a gaming YouTube channel, which are linked in our YouTube channel profile, uh, which obviously he hasn't been active for a while, but they are there. It's IACE Nation. Um, That's all of our questions we had written down. So if you guys have any more questions in the chat, I see a couple um, asking again about the bionic arm. We did cover that a little bit ago, but I'll quickly reiterate, uh, it's still in the works is pretty much the basis of it. Um, once we get more advanced with it, we'll let you guys know. Um, were you a lefty or a righty before the accident? Um, You were a lefty. Yeah, well, I write with my left hand. I threw a ball with my right hand. 
So now anytime I try to throw something, it goes That's fair. It goes the, the wrong way. Looks like I'm a girl trying to throw something half the time. So it's just oh, wah, straight to the ground. <laughs> Lauren, you are beautiful. Thank you. Don't thank me, thank Candida. Oh, thank you. Um are you both ready immediately to find a way to rebuild a body in Lauren? Um, yeah, obviously, if there's ever any options in the future for Lauren to have some type of, like, body prosthetic that allows him to walk and exist as a, like, able-bodied person again, we'll jump at the opportunity. Yeah. As of right now, obviously, there isn't really... Yeah, that'd be amazing if... Uh... I'm going to avoid that question for now. Um, I play a lot of fast play pace games, and it keeps my mind off of my phantom pain. Nice. Nice. Luckily, I don't have phantom pain anymore. I, mm -hmm. Luckily, I've been pain. able to resolve that, and I just not have nerve pain, which is why I have to watch what I eat and make sure that I drink my Miralax and all that. Yeah. Sorry, I want to so keep not, you straight so you don't yeah. get hurting. So I'm not bloated and there's no expanding inside my body because I insides are already so tight. There's no room for any of that. Or yeah. Else it just causes pain to those damaged nerve receptors. I loved your wedding dress holding my style. Thank you. It was my mama's wedding dress when her and my dad got married. Um, so... Has Lauren's life expectancy changed since this accident? Will he live a long life? So there's not enough information on hemicorporectomies to... I've kind of pioneered the way for hemicorporectomies because... In terms of ever what since, is known. Ever since my accident, there's been three hemicorporectomy surgeries that I know about yeah. that have taken place. Um, but all there's three of them hit me up. Yeah, but there's not enough information and research done um, in terms of life expectancy, especially because uh, most, the, like the known hemicorporectomy cases uh, are, yeah, uh, it, yeah, there's, it, there is no way to gauge life expectancy. Can you, um, there is no way to gauge life expectancy, but as of right now with where Lauren's health stands, there's no reason that he shouldn't live a long life. He has no health issues that are deteriorating his quality of health, if that makes sense. I think the the medications might kill me by the time I'm 40, but <laughs> other than that, yeah, should live. That sounds like a bitch. I am proud of you, Lauren, to keep going. I lost an arm and a leg, and you make me feel lucky and grateful for what I have left. Hey, thank you. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, happy anniversary. Oh, thank you. Lauren is such a boy with the cup. Yeah, he's a little annoying sometimes. You still want kids? Yes, we very want, very much so want kids. Very, very want kids. We very much so want kids. Um, hopefully with our genes, but if not possible, then we'll adopt or I don't know, inseminate yeah, or whatever. I think we've what we've talked about is you know obviously because like i've always wanted to experience pregnancy so like if we're able to have a child through pregnancy that would be nice but if not we've talked a lot about fostering uh there's there's a lot that goes into the options of us having kids and the reality of having kids and the reality of the adoption system and the foster system. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, and there's a lot of morality questions 
uh, yeah. that make the topic of kids a very tricky one. Uh, but we do want kids. And so. But we don't, we also don't know if we're going to be able um, to even have kids yep. due to our living situation. Which, Does Lauren take any multivitamins? I don't, but I should. Well, I. I thought I had. You have them, but we have to. You can't oh, take them till yeah, you get them get checked clear, against your medications. Yeah. Um, how do you guys feel when people ask you to tell the story about the accident? I just tell them the story. Yeah. <laughs> as long as, like, yeah, for the most part, I think we're so used to telling it at this point. And yeah, I think it the kinda... only time I'm annoyed of it is, like, when it's when I have to explain it to the people that are more like, well, why would you do that? Like when they're more like, oh, I'd rather just kill myself. Those people don't deserve an explanation because they've already made up their mind about what they think of the situation. But right. for the most part, you know, we've told the story so much and the majority of people are very receptive and like just want to learn. Uh, so yeah yeah and i've told the story so much and whatnot and it's been so long and we don't go out that much because we're introverts that uh it sometimes kind of takes me for a left or it comes out of left field yeah whenever somebody asks me well what's the story i'm like oh you don't know <laughs> yeah but, so used but, to people knowing yeah Hello, back to you, Melissa. Is it your guys' wedding anniversary today? If so, happy anniversary to my favorite couple. Thank you so much, Annie. Our wedding anniversary was on the 28th, so it was two days ago. Um, and we did... Last Wednesday? And we did... Uh, Already? <laughs> and we did a whole lot of nothing. Yeah. I worked. Um, I sat at home. Yeah. With really, really bad pain. pain I was, was actually bad, bad throwing pain. up and sick and whatnot. So how long has it been since your accident yeah. now? Four years? Yeah, four years. Twenty nineteen, so September. Five. In September four. it'll be in five. September. September will be five years. So it's been four yeah. years and a couple months. Sure. Um, thank you for the belated anniversary wishes. Off topic, but I love the color of your green walls. Thank you. We also have yellow. Um, we like color in this house. Um, but starting to slow down a little bit. And when in September, September 27th. Uh, but yeah, any last minute questions? Now would be the time because we're probably going to end this here in a little bit. Um, starting to slow down and what's up? We are gonna probably stop the live here now though, guys. Oh, are you since the since yeah, I'm mm. hurting and the chat's winding down. Yeah. But make sure to drop a like, guys, hit that share button on yes this video if you like, but other videos also. <laughs> um, uh, and when are we gonna be back? The first Sunday of every month. So the first Sunday of April, we so, will either have a video or a live for them. So we won't be back for a month? Yep, but we will still post every week, every Sunday in Facebook and in the YouTube community tab. Um, so you'll still get weekly updates and then we will see you guys like this in a month. So thank you guys so much for all of your questions and for being respectful in the chat. And thank you to CDT for taking care of the people who were not being so nice. She um, oh, well, she'll still see it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, and thank you guys for the continued support and for right. being here with us today. Thank you guys for all love and support, the donations, being here for yeah. the chat, asking questions, talking, yeah, spending your Sunday time with us, mm -hmm. time you can't get back. 
<laughs> wasted time. Wasted um, time. No. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll head out now. Um, anyone who missed the beginning, uh, this will be posted to our channel. So you can re-watch whatever. Um, and like she to. said, we post every week on Facebook and also up in the community tab, no matter what. So yes. okay. make sure you guys follow that. Bye, Have guys. Have a good one, guys. Bye.